Callahan, just a day before Cerna's vigil, that investigation continuing into the shooting death of Cerna tonight. 23 ABC's Ivan Rodriguez has been following the case and joins us now live. Ivan. It was a busy day in the Silver Creek neighborhood. Bakersfield Police Department shutting down the streets surrounding the Cerna home in order to continue their investigation. The family also telling me they have chosen their lawyer to defend them. Police activity continued this morning in the Silver Creek neighborhood. I was surprised that it was that they cordoned off the street again. I didn't see any need for that. Neighbors saying although it doesn't bother them, they aren't used to having so much commotion in their own front yards. It did not bother me. Of course, it bothered me to know that somebody got shot, but it wasn't like a big violent show, like any threat was still around. Coming just nine days after 73-year-old Francisco Cerna, unarmed and suffering from dementia, was shot and killed by a BPD officer. There were initial reports that he had a gun, but a weapon was never found. Detectives continued their investigation today looking through evidence and answering questions the Cerna family had. 23 ABC News also reached out to the Cerna family, who say they have picked Fresno attorney Lazaro Salazar to represent them as their lawyer. Just days away from Christmas, instead of planning family gatherings, the Cerna family will be holding a vigil and rosary for Francisco Cerna tomorrow at Peter's funeral home in Wasco and his funeral on Friday at Wasco Memorial Park. BPD said today that there are no new developments in the Francisco Cerna case. His vigil will be held tomorrow afternoon from 4 to 6. Live here at BPD headquarters, Ivan Rodriguez, 23 ABC.